Another one of the mainstays of the Natural History Museums is power. And in this case, we talk about three different types of power manifest in objects uh, from the colonial American past. First, we look at the 17th century and at the armchair. We look at the way that armchairs formed a kind of seat of patriarchal power and became basically a household throne in a world where most people sat on the ground or on stools and benches. To sit in an armchair was uh, to mark yourself as different. So all of these objects bring a kind of royal power into the home. Things change in the 18th century and financial power becomes um, the kind of authority to mark. And we use this great desk, Philadelphia desk and bookcase as a symbol of that kind of financial authority. And you're hearing in the background um, the way we tell this story. And in this case, we thought, well, rather than us tell the story of the desk's power on the label, it would be more effective for a contemporary artist to tell this story. Third object after the desk is this towering um, Gothic hall stand. And in this case, we talk about religious power, about how objects um, embody the authority of the church at a time when marking your Christianity, your morality, was a way to secure a kind of authority and reputation. These two icons of power, the desk and the hall stand, have the same shape, have the same verticality, these same three finial pediments. Even though they're marking different kinds of power, they're using basically the same formal vocabulary.